Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep, the makers of premium mattresses and bedding that are customized for your needs and preferences. You can take the Helix Sleep quiz and enter your body type and your sleeping preferences and the quiz will match you with the perfect mattress. I happen to be a side sleeper, I prefer a firmer style mattress, and I share my bed with my husband. So the Helix Sleep Quiz will take both of our answers to the quiz into account and come up with a happy compromise for the both of us. And we matched with the Helix Sleep Dusk Lux and we are getting terrific sleep. We wake up well rested and our backs feel supported. And at this point, our entire family has a Helix Sleep mattress and we're all getting really great sleep. Besides getting great sleep, my favorite feature of the Helix Sleep mattresses is that they arrive right to your doorstep, rolled up in a cardboard box, which makes it really easy to maneuver. We have a narrow set of stairs, and I was able to get the mattress upstairs and install it myself. We've had our mattress for over a year now. We're getting great sleep. Our backs feel supported, and we feel well rested. It's so great to have a mattress that suits our specific needs. Your mattress will arrive right at your doorstep, and if you live in the US, shipping is free. Helix Sleep offers a 100 night sleep trial to make sure you love it. There's also a 10 year warranty, and there are financing options and flexible payment plans. Your mattress will arrive right at your doorstep, and if you live in the US, shipping is free. So Helix Sleep is currently running their 4th of July sale. It's a great time to upgrade. You can click the link down below to receive 25% off your mattress along with two free pillows. Check out the Helix site for more details. Big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video and for allowing me to make better videos for all of you. Alrighty, my lovelies. So today we're going to be making Big Mac tacos. If you're on TikTok at all, you've more than likely seen a version of this. It's basically the flavors of a Big Mac from McDonald's, but it's going to be in a foldable kind of like a taco shape. Not a traditional taco by any means. We're going to be using a flour tortilla, smashing some hamburger on it, and then adding some sauce, lettuce, and cheese and then tasting it to see if it tastes like a Big Mac. I imagine it will because it has all the pieces, the components. We don't have a bun, we have a crispy tortilla, but it's flour, so I think it's gonna be pretty similar. I think what I'm most interested in is this technique of applying ground meat to a tortilla. So let's do this. <laughs> I found these really tiny flour tortillas and I thought these were super cute because they would be kind of somewhat bun size, but we fold them in half. They're very, very portable and small and petite. And, and I like that. So I chose to go small. So this is not the first time I've experimented with Big Macness. I did make a homemade version of a Big Mac, which was so good better than the original in my opinion. I'll put a link to that video in case you missed it. And the recipe came from the McMenu PDF. I will put a link to that below. It was anonymously written. Some people think it was management or someone that was had an inside perspective of McDonald's and has detailed account of how to make specific things off the McDonald's menu super hyper detailed. At any rate, I'm gonna be adapting my Big Mac sauce from that recipe booklet because it was really good. And then I've got some ground beef. And this is 85-15. I would prefer 80-20, but this is what I could find. Probably about a quarter cup. This is where the name Smash Burger Tacos comes from. That's my favorite style of burger, by the way. Smash Burger, it's all caramelized and delicious. We're gonna season these with a little bit of salt, pepper, plenty of pepper, a little bit of MSG, sprinkled on top. Got my pan on medium high heat. See how the water just beads up and dances around? That's hot. Alrighty, here we go, meat side down. Now, I'm not gonna add any oil to this at all. I like using a metal spatula when I cook smash burgers, it's a good way to scrape the meat off the bottom of the pan. Then flip. <sighs> Look at that. That is beautiful. And transfer that over here. So right off the bat, cooking time is super fast. 
Cooking all these took all about 10 minutes. Didn't have to toast any buns or anything. We just had to flip flip because the meat is so thin. So next we're gonna make the sauce. I probably should have made the sauce before I made my little tacos, but you know, we're making it now. Mayo, quarter cup. We're gonna be adding some French dressing. One big glop of this. Now I thought that French dressing was more red than this. This is creamy French dressing, but this is all I could find. You know what I mean? I thought like French dressing was, I don't know. What does French dressing taste like? Hmm. Vinegary, sweet. Is there anything French about it? Anyways, some relish. Boop. Sugar, sweeten things up. In this bowl, I've got rehydrated, dehydrated minced onions. So I've added some water to these dried minced onions and they've plumped up and add some of that to this. And in my opinion, this is the signature oniony flavor of McDonald's burgers. It just is the hamburger, the cheeseburger, Big Mac. This, this specific, not fresh onion, reconstituted dried minced onion. I tell you, that's the secret. A little bit of vinegar. Oh, I love that sound. Ketchup. Bloop. That's it. That's the magic potion. A slice of cheese. Now, I should have done this while I was cooking it. And when you cook yours, you will add your cheese to your hot pan and do that. But I had to make my sauce. I'm going to be zapping this in the microwave for five seconds to get the cheese to do its thing, you know? Nicely melted piece of cheese and everything's gotten rewarmed. Reconstituted dehydrated onions. Let's put the sauce on first. Now we've got some shredded iceberg lettuce and we can add some more sauce on top if we like. Look at that. Doesn't that look jolly good? And because I wanna know how Big Mac this is, I've also got an actual Big Mac. So we'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. The only thing that's taco about this is that it's folded in half. And that's that's about it. The way you eat it is similar to a taco, <laughs> but it's nothing taco-ish about this. You've got the crunch of the lettuce. You've got the thin patty, which is actually quite similar to the thin beef patties that you'll find in McDonald's burger. Cheese, sauce. Mm -hmm. The sauce is tangy, a little bit sweet, oniony, delicious. I do have to say, I haven't tasted the original yet. This seems a bit saltier, and maybe that's because there's less kind of starch to kind of mellow out the concentration of salty flavors in terms of both cheese, salted seasoned beef, and sauce in that. But ultimately, do I miss the bun? Um, yeah, kind of. I kind of do miss that squishy, squishy bun. Mm -hmm. I do have to say, the textures are different. The tortilla is a little bit more chewy and of course much thinner and you don't have that bready kind of fluff or that kind of sweetness. McDonald's buns tend to be a little bit sweet so you don't have that sweetness going on. You don't have that like <sighs> Now let's compare that to the original Big Mac. Three breads, buns. Oh, I forgot the pickles. Oh my gosh, how could I? Okay. I'm like, Oh yeah, I'm like that can't just be the bread. No, you need the dilly tangy pickle slice in there as well. Okay, back to the Big Mac, the original. We have bun, patty, pickles, lettuce sauce, same thing down here, and then cheese is way down at the bottom. Mmm. 
the biggest difference between the original and this taco version besides the big bready bun is the sweetness this is significantly sweeter than the taco version i wonder if that's Mm -hmm. The bun is a little bit sweet. And let's try the sauce. Compared to our homemade sauce. Actually, our homemade sauce is about the same level of sweetness. Wow, the homemade sauce is a really good dupe. I'm tasting it side by side now. The original might have a little bit more relish in it than the homemade, but in terms of flavor, very, very close. Big Mac, Big Mac is delicious. Uh -huh. mm. Don't forget the pickles. Alrighty, my lovies, there you have it. The smash taco version of the Big Mac. Smash, delicious, make it if you like the Big Mac. Winner, really make this sauce. Check out my website for a printable version of this Big Mac sauce. Alrighty, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching and big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. Helix Sleep is hosting their big 4th of July sale right now. If you'd like to get 25% off your mattress, click the link down below. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Taco burp? Uh, oh. How? What? That was not a taco burp.